Keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Good morning, students. Today we'll take the grammar chapter, verbs, finite and non-finite verbs. As we all know, a verb is an action word. In this lesson, we will focus on two kinds of verbs, the finite and the non-finite. A finite verb is one that changes according to the tense. Finite means bound. It must agree with the number and the person of its subject. Let us take for example, I cook food. Here, the verb cook agrees with the subject I, which is the first person singular. Now let us look at the second sentence. Malti cooks food. Here the verb cooks agrees with the subject Malti, which is the third person singular. So we can conclude that the finite verb agrees with the subject and also the tense. Finite verb gives meaning to the sentence. Now let us see what a non-finite verb is. A non-finite verb is one that does not change even according to the tense and it is not bound by anything. For example, Sam hates working. Now you see in the, the sentence is in the present tense. The second sentence, my friends hated working. Now the year the verb hated is in the past tense. So hates and hated these are finite verbs whereas in both the sentence the word working remains the same. So therefore here working is the non-finite verb as it does not change even though the uh, tense has changed the word working here does not change. There are three types of non-finite verbs. First, infinitives. Now, what is an infinitive? Yes, it's a two plus verb. That means there'll be a verb with the word two. For example, Sam decided to take a walk in the garden. Here the infinitive is to take. The second one is Participle. A participle is a verbal adjective. It does the work of a verb as well as an adjective. There are two kinds of participles. One is the present participle and it ends with ing. And the second one is a past participle which ends with ed, en or t. The third non-finite verb is a gerund and a gerund is a verbal noun and it ends with an ing. It's a verbal noun because it does the work of a verb as well as a noun. Let us look into the sentences and find out whether these the verbs are finite or non-finite. First one, Neha writes letters. Now what is the verb over here? Writes and it is a finite verb because it 
can change according to its tense and it agrees with the subject neha the second sentence they try to sing a song now here to sing it's a non finite verb and it is an infinitive to plus verb the third sentence neha sorry naina lives in thailand again lives is a finite verb the fourth sentence you promised me the last ticket and here the verb is promised and again it is a finite verb fifth sentence i must go there go is again a finite verb but if you look in the sixth sentence he decided to go there so to go is a non finite verb and it is an infinitive seventh one plucking flowers from the garden is strictly prohibited now here the word plucking does the work of a noun as well as a verb okay it is answering the noun plucking doing what plucking and therefore it's a non finite verb and it's a gerund the eighth one eighth sentence sunlight is necessary for the growing plants now the verb over here is growing and it is describing the plants it's doing the work of an adjective plus it is a verb and therefore it's a verbal adjective and therefore it is a non finite verb and it's the present participle ninth sentence the washed clothes had to be dried and kept away the clothes are described over here so again washed is the non finite verb and it is the past participle and the last sentence the written notes were kept in the cupboard again you're describing the notes the and it is written so written is the past participle and therefore it is a non finite verb so similarly you can find sentences and uh, pick out the verbs and say whether they are finite verbs and if they are non finite verbs whether it is an infinitive whether it is a participle or a gerund with this we come to the end of the chapter thank you